everyone today I'm here with my special guest that you've never seen before and you don't know absolutely because he's never on my channel mr. Brian hello today I want to play a game I want to play who is more likely to with Brian let's go I don't fully understand how the game works but basically it's who is more likely to do something Sony and I have cards with either B which would mean boy or S, which would mean Sonia. Just kidding, B means Brian. <laughs> so if I think I'm more likely to do it, obviously I will vote for it myself. If she's more likely to do it, I'll vote for her. She'll do the same, and we'll see how our answers match up. If you didn't understand the rules, it will be very clear in a few seconds, because it's pretty easy. So. And I just want to say I've never heard these questions. Yeah. Not that that really even matters, but I haven't. I prepare the questions, but they're not so easy. It's not a given that we will say the same thing. First question is, who is more likely to accidentally set the house on fire? But you can't look at the camera. I'm not looking at the camera. Do you have your answer? Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> I really don't think I'm likely to set the house on fire though. So why did you say Brian? Because lately we have candles in our apartment and I'm like, we should put a candle in the bathroom. And she's like, no, because we're not going to be in the bathroom to like monitor the candle. But I'm like, but it's not just going to explode. First of all, you shouldn't just leave candles when you don't see them. Second of all, you're not really super good at cooking. So I imagine if someone had to say that. But I don't even cook and you do cook. So you're more likely in that case. Plus, you always fall asleep before me and I always blow out the candles. That's true. Question number two. Who is more likely to ask for someone else's food? <laughs> Wait, so I have to think about that. Okay. Three, two, one. Ready? Yes. Oh. What? Why? So there's something you have to know about Sonia. She hates when you take some of her food because it's like her sacred golden treasure that you should never take her food. <laughs> so I've strongly learned not to take food from her. But as a general person, I do ask for people's food sometimes. Like, can I try that? Just like most people do. But since she's that way, she feels bad asking for other people's yeah. food. So she usually doesn't ask for people's food. That actually makes sense. But I was thinking about how many times I do that with you. Because since I know that Brian doesn't mind when I try his food, I actually ask for his food a lot. That changed my answer because you said ask anyone. If it was just ask each yeah. other, it would have been It just you. says someone else's food and I thought, well, Brian, someone else. But if it's anyone else, it's me. If it's just between us two, yes, yeah. it's you. Okay, makes sense. Question number three. I have 15, by the way. Let's go. Who is more likely to avoid using computers? Avoid using com Avoid using computers, if you can. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, Brian's way better than me at computers. If I can avoid using a computer, I will. Yeah, and I like my computer, and I kind of need it, and I need a new computer. So, mm -hmm. I mean, any fans? Kidding. No, question number four. Who is more likely to develop a habit of skipping breakfast? Oh my god, you freaking made this question on purpose. No, I didn't. Three, two, one. She purposely asked no, that I because didn't. she has a lifelong experience of eating breakfast every single morning and I used to not eat breakfast that often. She made this question on purpose to expose me. No, but okay. Question number five. Oh, this is nice. Who is more likely to bark in public? Bark like a dog? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh what? my god. Really? Yeah, I feel like I've been making some animal sounds lately. Yeah, me too. <laughs> at least you do it at home. I do it everywhere. I don't That's mind. true. Like even my co-workers know that sometimes if they hear the sound of a kitty, it's not a kitty, it's me. I haven't heard you bark often. Yeah, because mm, dog is not my favorite. Like it's my favorite animal, but the sound of a dog is like... The slightest like detail in these questions can make all the difference. That's true. Question number six. Who is more likely to be found in a library? Three, two, one. 
Yes, sir. I like libraries, especially back in America. I used to go to the library all the time. That's an interesting question. But I don't even use libraries necessarily to look at the books. I use it as like a study space yeah. or a workspace. But I do like reading and I like studying and everything. But I like my home. I don't necessarily need to go to the library. I feel you. Question number seven. Who is more likely to be pessimistic about everything? This is hard, honestly. I don't even know. Okay, three, okay. two, one. Mmm, yes. Okay, this was a hard question Hi, because guys. lately I've been pessimistic, but generally you know me as a person, I'm usually an optimistic person. I think it's American in Italy, like Americans are optimistic in general. Yeah. Italians are a little more pessimistic. Because we like to be ready, right? Like for the future. That's if true. anything happens, at least we're ready. So I'm historically a pessimist. That's true, that's true. But lately, I've been a little bit like, Argh. Question number eight. <laughs> Who is more likely to be a bully? Oh my god, wow. One, two, three. Yes. Oh! Why did you say me? I'm so kind to you. Sonia is nice to me, but... <sighs> when Sonia was in elementary school, she had like a clique or like a posse or an army and she was the leader and she d she commanded her group. That was a club. It's not that it was the leader. It was just like a pony club and they voluntarily joined. Huh? And who was the commander? Me because And I what did you command them to do? They were ponies. They were my ponies. <laughs> Sonia had a pony club and she commanded her ponies. It was fun for everybody. That's it called wasn't a bully. Being bully. But I just said me just because I am more likely to express my opinions if I don't like you. Brian is more politically correct. I like everyone. Mm. Alright, next. Question number nine, who's more likely to be the life of the party? Oh, jeez. That's literally easy. the easiest question. Why? Ready? Okay. Yeah, no. Definitely not. Wait, no. I am no. definitely not the quote-unquote life of the party. Sonia's miss social. Especially social situations where I'm just like, Sonia can do all the talking, I'll just sit back. Like, I'm not one to like spark up random conversations and stuff. Sonia is. So! What's your name? I'm Sonia. Wait, I am very good at entertaining, but I'm never like the life of the party that is like, yoo let's do this. For you, instead... <laughs> Neither am I. Well, it depends. You have your nights where you just like sip your beer aside, you don't really talk. But when you have your other nights, you're kind of like the life of the party. Let's sing! What's your name? What do you do in life? Like, you're more active than me in your nights. Okay. If it makes sense. That does. But how many nights have you seen me like that? A Two? few. A few. Anyway. Question number 10. Who is more likely to cheat on the other? Oh my god. Okay. Ready? Yes. One, two, three. This is a backwards no answer. Yeah, I said BS because honestly, yes. <laughs> because honestly, you can never know. I can know. <laughs> no. I can know. What I mean is that sketchy. In the long run, like in 50 years together, things happen, and I could sit here and say like, oh, I will never do it, and you can do the same. But the reality is that we don't know. We don't know. That's sad. A sad question. Gosh, Moving deep on. moment in this <laughs> light video. But okay. Question number eleven. <coughs> Question number 11, you might want to listen to the answer. Who is more likely to become a porn star? Okay. <laughs> oh my god. Three, two, one. Yeah. Why? Because, first of all, men in porn aren't usually like known. Most of the time their faces aren't even covered. I mean, Rocco si Freddy. It's just more likely that I would do it than Sonya, but I'm still not like. <laughs> yeah, but I thought the same. Like I was like, nah, I wouldn't do it. Nice questions. It's entertaining. Question number 12. Who is more oh, likely Jesus. to cheat on a test? That's the easiest question I've ever seen. <laughs> Three, two, one. Obvious. I've seen her. I know how <laughs> I know what she does. The thing is that I was a good student, but school should teach you how to Cheat. live, right? No, it's like real life. Like okay, they should so? prepare you for life. In real life you don't always stick by the rules. 
That's no reason to cheat. That's a super good reason. Okay. Yeah. And by the way, it's not that I always cheated on my tests. Usually I was the one who was giving the answers. I see. Question number 13. Oh, three more questions. Who is more likely to climb Mount Everest? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, really? <laughs> three, two, one. Still <laughs> definitely me. Although, you should go back and see the Mount Fuji video. Sonia did a good job. But I'm still like more like, let's go type. Granted, I would not climb Mount Everest. Obviously, she wouldn't either. But I'm more likely to do it. Especially after Mount Fuji, if you told me, Sonia, do you want to climb Mount Everest? I'd be like, <laughs> no. Yeah. Would no. you climb Mount Fuji again? No. Would you? I'm tempted to. Question number 14, second to last question. Who is more likely to eat dog food? Where did you come up with these <laughs> questions? It's me. It's a girl. Three, two, one. Easily some. Easily? Yes, because as far as open-mindedness goes to food, oh. other than eating meat, because she's a vegetarian, pescatarian, Sonia is the most open-minded person in terms of food. Like, she'll eat anything. <laughs> we'll go to the grocery store, see some strange, bizarre food I would never even consider, and Sonia would be like, mm, I'll try it. <laughs> yeah. You like a lot of things. If I can convince you to try them. Because if the looks is not appealing, if the color... If I try something, I like it. I'm hesitant Usually. to try many things. Usually you should go and see his like Japanese snack video. It's not that you like everything. That's true. Like and she also adventures. loves dogs and stuff. She's like more of a dog person. Yeah, and I think that dog food smells good sometimes. Mm. Last question. Question number 15. Who is more likely to fall asleep at the cinema? At the movie theater? Hmm. You have confused me with this question. <laughs> Three, two, one. Definitely not. Oh, yes. I cannot fall asleep in public places, period. I cannot fall asleep with my back up. I have to have a bed and I have to be sleeping down on my flat stomach. But you can definitely fall asleep when you watch a movie. Okay, but well, you said at the Every cinema. Every night. Well, I will choose Brian because for me, he falls asleep every night when we watch a movie, so... Because Sonya likes going to sleep at 3 a.m. Sorry, I fall asleep at 2 a.m. <laughs> Alright, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed it, bitch. Just kidding. Subscribe. Also, if you don't know Brian, I highly doubt it, but I will leave the link to his channel below. Alright y'all, stay lifted, peace.